here we go uh, MMTs we have the put side of the trade right now is $16,551 on the put side on 200 contracts so the number is not here so the put side is 200 and this is part two but we're going to be adding to that side of the trade on the call side right now we have 122,218.74 on the call side which equals 359 contracts the equity side is we own 6,000 shares at 26.67 which equals $159,990 as far as the equity here okay so we're going to be putting it all in an Excel spreadsheet so I'll have equity exposure and whatnot the total position I'm seeing here is 290 and these are just notes 298,760.15 on the total position plus equity so that's plus the equity when we took the cost of $122,218 for divided by 359 that gave uh, uh, divided by 100 equals a 3.40 per contract that's 3.4 ratio example is that's the total net ratio of all of the calls that we explained over here the 30 the 25 the 30 dollar call the the other call contracts that we added all up, the $40 call, all of these five combined equal this right here, MMTs. So the way that we look at it is 3.4 is our ratio. And 3.40 and higher doesn't matter. It's what the portfolio ratio is going up. If the spread goes to $15 per contract, that's 15 and our ratio is 3.4 that's 11 times 6 ratio on 100 times 359 equal $416,000 profit right here basically back to the video here is that if we were to make um, $11 yield times 100 times 359 that's $11 yield I see that the number is what four hundred sixteen thousand four hundred and forty dollars in profits if we had a four dollar ratio profit times 100 times 359 would be one hundred forty seven thousand one hundred ninety a three point oh ratio gap this is the actual equity right here is how this should be written up it's informal but this is the gap so if the stock gapped up should say HSI gap ratio we have 5,000 shares. If it gaps up $5, that's a 3.0 ratio, $30,000 gap. I know the numbers might be confusing because of the, con the, the structure of it. But nonetheless, what we did write down here in our footnotes is that um, $16,551.41 at 200 puts plus 200 puts at 35 equals seven seven thousand dollars more so we would have a total of 23 if we take our other 200 put options at 35 cents that's going to take the total of the total put expo exposure twenty three thousand five hundred fifty one dollars and four hundred puts in the account it looks like then there's four hundred puts at four thousand dollars that's $27,551 for a total of 800 puts if we can get them. And if we had 800 puts at a 3.4, that's 34 cent ratio total thing, and we got a 1.6 ratio profit times 800 equals $132,800 in revenue on the put side. <clears throat> and we'll have a different we'll have this all put into an Excel format where it's titled for each one very nicely but that's what the put side would pay on that scenario revenue injection stream purchase of another 6,000 shares say that human genome we say that human genome gapped up to $30 we own 6,000 shares at 2.66 2.67 so if we bought 6,000 more shares at $30 that would give us 12,000 shares at 2834 and still 19,200 in the money at 
$30 price print and 84,000 out of 30 so the equity could pay $84,000 going from the share count up to 35.34 that would be where we would sell it at that would equal 84,000 profit based on adding 6,000 more shares from 6,000 to 12,000 then we looked at some of the downside ratio 7.5 down would be 17.8 and we would add shares because there wouldn't be anything if there was any volatility they're not going to not get approved they could be a couple of things in there you never know but we have a plan on buying below the market and we looked at a five dollar gap down we've looked at a seven point five dollar gap down and we would add eight thousand shares that would bring our cost to twenty one sixty and fourteen thousand shares if it drops ten dollar ratio on a gap down that would bring it in at 15.3 adding 10,000 shares so it's 10,000 shares here that would bring our net cost to 16,000 shares at $19.56 so we would have a total um, capital equity exposure then if the ratio on the put side went to 2.5 ratio that means two and a half dollars times 800 puts gives us a net revenue on the put side of $172,800 based on that okay ratio and that means that the put side would be sold immediately if there was any manipulation they gapped it down in pre-market and there's no merit for none approval and it's just a bunch of hype we would cash in all of these puts immediately and we would get the revenue added into the portfolio right here and I will conclude this and do another one in a total Excel dialed out format on Sunday